Hey guys, what's up? My name is Trickett, and yes, this is another amazing edition, guys, of Wake Up With Trickett, and yes, it's after midnight, and I'm hanging out side, absolutely, in my carport. <laughs> and so, hey guys, um, I wanted to share this story with you guys real quick. Um, and before I do, I want to say thank you for coming and rocking out with me, hanging out with me, putting up with me, right? <laughs> Inboxing me and allowing me to help you out with, you know, answers and questions and things that you, things that you have. We let that pendulum swing, baby, and we find out what it is you need to know, and we make things happen. So, thank you guys for rocking out with me on that end of side, on that side of things, and allowing me to be a part of your journey and help you out on. The things that you're going through now with that being said guys um today guys i'm just gonna jump right into it today guys i had um lost like thousand dollars in my wallet right like nine hundred thousand dollars i had in my wallet uh today right and um <clears throat> just out and about doing whatever you know and um i went into my place right that i go in the morning to get my little tea you know what i'm saying and my protein drink and um and I order my drink, right? And then I go to pay for it, and I'm like, what the heck? I don't have the money, and I'm like, what? And so, um, right before I can even do that, where's my money, where's my wallet type thing? I was still in there, like, patting myself down, right? Like, where's my cash? A lady walks in, and she's like, excuse me. Um, she calls me by my name, and she goes, I think this is yours. I think this belongs to you. I open it up and I seen the ID and the license in there and I see you padding your pockets like you're looking for your wallet or to pay or to pay for something. And I was like, oh, this belongs to you. And she goes, I, I think all the, all, you know, all the money's in there. And I see the money bulging out, right? So I was like, okay. It looked like it was about right. So I was all relieved, like, oh my gosh, right, you know? So I wanted to do something special for her, something by lunch or something. And I was just like, oh, wow, you know, thank you, you know? And that's why all that good that I put out, guys, that's why I don't have no ratchet stuff on me unless somebody's just basically lying. And they would have to do that behind my back. They wouldn't even be able to tell that story in front of me because it, wouldn't be true <laughs> so um that's why i just treat everybody right so right keeps coming back to me i mean that's my model that's my slogan right so um the lady says an old man found it i guess on the sidewalk right i guess when i was getting out my car to go buy my drink and um he picked it up and then just walked in to an establishment and gave it to another lady and was like, hey, I just found this wallet full of money and, you know, here, I'm just turning it into you. Now think about this. She could have been like, you know what, I'm out of here late. She could have kept it, whatever, 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 whatever. But when you do right, right always comes back. When you put out that good energy, 24 hours a day, the best you can. And then yes, God, Jesus, the universe is going to look out for you. Spirit is going to make sure that you are always in good hands, right? <clears throat> because many are called, right? But let's just keep it 100. Very few are chosen. Very few people answer the call to walk this journey. So they don't have the power, they don't have the protection, they don't have all the extra gifts and added stuff. They're operating on some bare minimum and they have, they got some grace and they got that Irene on the Justin and Justin, and you know, that's about what, what they got. You know, or you on the other hand, other hand, it's like, a child God is pleased with. So, you know, you have favor, and favor is always better than grace, guys. You get the extra stuff, right? <laughs> so check this out, guys. Um, look how that exchanged, right? Like a thousand bucks. And it exchanged just like that. Even when I went and bought my, my drink, you know, um, I know the two girls there, so I was like, check this out. And I told them what happened, and they seen the lady walk in there and tell me, right? And so we were all tripping on it. And I even opened up my wallet. I was like, look, I'm not lying. Look, someone has had this in their possession and gave it back. So thank God. Much blessings, much gratitude. Always show gratitude. And um, whether things are working out for you or they 
appear not to be. Always show gratitude. Why, guys? Because it's energy. When Whatever energy you're putting out there, it's going to come back. It's just the laws of the land. You know what I'm saying? It's reaping and sowing. It's karma, you know? So anyway, so I'm going about my day, right? I'm like, okay, whoosh, got my cheese back. We're good. So, you know, I'm back to my tactics, tactics, you know, going throughout my day, where I'm going to eat at, whatever, you know, doing whatever I do, okay? <laughs> Sending love and light to everyone, right? Being a blessing everywhere I go, sunshine everywhere I go, motivation, uplifting. It's who I am. It's what I do, right? I'm the sun. <laughs> so I lose my wallet again. I get gas, and then I go somewhere else, and I'm like, what the heck? My wallet's gone again. Never, ever, ever has this happened. And I'm like, what the? So... My wallet's lost again. I got $500 in there right now. And so I think it's at the gas station. So I got the guy running back to tape. So I'll trick it. I ran it back. And on the tape, you put it in your back pocket. So I'm like, what the heck? It fell out again. So, you know, I go straight to my spirit guides. Immediately, like, look, come on, guys. What's up? You see everything. What's up? And I'm being cool about it, right? Because I know all this is always a test, right? But still, it's still like 500 bucks. Before that's like a thousand bucks. So you're like, what the heck is going on, right? <clears throat> why am I losing money or why does it appear that I'm losing money? Like, like, like what's going on? This is all new. I, that's, that's not what I do, right? So, um, runs the tape. He says, no, you put it in your back pocket. You left with it. And so I'm talking to my guides. And while I'm talking to them, within like five minutes, I get a phone call. You know, I have my business cards and stuff like that inside my wallet, right? And so they were like, oh, uh, trick it, we found your wallet. And she said, and there's money in there. How much money did you have? I was like, I'll be right there. <laughs> I'll answer that question when I get there. <laughs> Let me get to my wallet, right? So once again, I'm gonna buy these girls now well, um, some lunch because I was just like, what are the odds you lose your wallet twice, right? thousand bucks 500 bucks and then you still um you still get it back so you can still take care of the things you need to do do what you got to do you do you don't get set back you're not like oh what the heck mini devastated you know what i'm saying <laughs> so um no not everybody's bad because i always return stuff you know what i'm saying um and that just goes to show that the people that found my wallet each time were just good people. Good people, even if they had done something bad in their lifetime, they had did a good deed this time. So they were good people, they were amazing people. Light workers, you know whenever you do good, you're like a light worker. You're, you're, you're operating in that frequency of love. And that's what happened with me today. In my little small town of Union County, New Albany, Union County, got to give them props, right? Salute, right? I mean, that's an amazing testimony. That's an, an amazing story to be able to have that happen twice in one day. So I feel pretty good. I feel great about that. You know, not everybody's a ratchet. You still have good people. I found $5,000 and handed it back to the person. I could have just kept it, put it in my back pocket. It was in an envelope, and I guess it fell out of their pocket. But that's good karma, because I'm not a thief. To me, that's low vibration. I'd rather make my money and spend. I love spending. Stealing just would not be my thing. That's karmic, you know what I mean? Like, I gotta make my money by thieving? Like, come on. Really? <laughs> I'm supposed to feel good and vibe high off of that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, guys. So anyway, I got home and I was explaining this. No, before I got home, my daughter had called me. She needed something, whatever, whatever, right? My 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 um small my smallest daughter, Melina. Um, <clears throat> I called her my oracle, right? 
And I told her the story. And she goes, Daddy, you know what that was? I'm all, what? She said, that was a task, Daddy. I said, it was? And I had a feeling it was a task, but I tripped out all on how an 11-year-old broke this down to me. But these are, this is an 11-year-old that's being raised by a high priest with the knowledge and wisdom that I have that they're getting at a way younger age than what I got it. They're starting out way before me, so they should even be light years ahead of me and power, strength, and everything else um, by the time they get to where I'm at because they got a huge head start. And side note, do spiritually gifted parents have spiritually gifted kids? Absolutely. That's why you have to be careful on who you have kids with. <laughs> Because some people just want to have your kid because they know that it's going to be gifted. And then, you know, they're not trying to raise, you know, someone with extraordinary gifts to use them for the dark arts. So you're not just trying to lay up with anybody and have, you know, a child with anyone knowing that your DNA connects, it's connected with spiritual gifts. So your children will automatically, yes, have spiritual gifts. <laughs> I just said, it is what it is. But how they use them, and if they're taught they use them, and if they use them for right, and if they use them for dark, darkness, that'll all be a different story. But do spiritual parents have spiritual gifted children? Absolutely. Now, back to what I was telling you about my daughter. So I tell her, my little oracle, what happened? She goes, Dad, it was a test. <clears throat> And I'm like, really? I like testing my kids a lot. So I'm like, really? Like how? And she goes, you lost your wallet twice, $1,000, $500. This is what God was telling you. I'm like, okay, let me listen to you. <laughs> and I'm like, God's about to talk, to talk through this little girl right here. You know, I'm feeling the vibes. And she goes, what God is trying to tell you is that no matter what happens, he got your back. He's, I go, what do you mean by that? She goes, all the things that you can't see, he's proving to you that he's working on your behalf behind the scenes. I said, what do you mean? I like to drill my kids, right? I'm like, what do you mean? And she goes, you lost your wallet the first time, like $1,000. An old man found it. He could have picked it up and left. It was cash. He gave it to another woman that he had to trust was going to do the right thing and that woman could have put it in her wallet or put it in her purse walked away with it, whatever but god through the whole process that had you protected had your money protected because you do so much good work out here and you're always helping people she says you have a lot of good karma so he was letting you know it was like his way of showing you proof that no matter what you're going through, I'm always watching over you. I got your back. You, you know, you, you're, you're protected. And so she said, and then you went and lost it again for the second time for him to show you proof once again. So if there was any doubt, any second thoughts, he just cleared it up because now you're calling your angel guides. So you weren't calling no human, no friends. You're calling on spirit or angels in the car at a gas station saying, where is my money? You know where it is. You see everything. I work for you. You guys war for me. I war for you. What's up? I need your help. Within five minutes, daddy, you said you got a phone call of someone that had to open up your wallet, see all the money, look through your wallet, seeing that you had uh, business cards in there, call you, say, I found your wallet, come and get your money. He said, I heard you, and he took care of you once again, twice in one day. How amazing is that, guys? <laughs> How amazing is that, right? So I feel really, 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 really fortunate really blessed because that would have been a you know that would have been a nice little hit you know what I'm saying I don't care how you slice it or dice it you know what I'm saying 
a stack is a stack, you know, a rack is a rack, a grand is a grand, a thousand is a thousand is a thousand. I don't care how you look at it, you know? So um, for this to happen and then to happen at, a, at, at the place where I buy my, 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 uh, my drinks, my protein drinks and my, my teas hat, and for um, them to also witness the two girls here, um, my, my Virgo on my Taurus, <laughs> For them to uh, witness that too, I mean, that's amazing. That's extraordinary. It's like, who does that? Who does that nowadays? How many people would have really actually did that, right? I believe if I was living a ratchet life, I believe if I was lying to people, cheating on people, being unfaithful to people, stealing, bad-mouthing, talking behind people's back, doing any of that type of low vibe, vibing type of stuff, I believe I wouldn't have got my money. I believe it, I would have, it would have been karma. But because I put out so much good, guys, all I'm saying is, is that I believe I reap that good karma because I am always, look right now, doing a video. I am always, I could be watching TV. I mean, I, I could be watching TV, trust me. <laughs> I could be watching movies. I could be watching whatever I want to watch. Um, I got a seven foot screen. You know what I mean? I could watch whatever I want to watch, but that's just not my thing. I'm getting ready to do three healing Reiki sessions right now. Probably be going to bed, I don't know what time, because people need help. And I know how to manipulate energy. So I know, I know how to heal people. I know how to help people overcome and get better. And that's what I've been doing lately, guys. That's what I've been doing too. And that's amazing. Who doesn't like to hear the good reports coming back on that, right? So, um, and that's without medic. That's not without. That's without medicine. That's without, you know, you having to go to the doctor. That's just me being able to work in the invisible, but still have it touch you, but in a positive way to where it repairs you, what's broken, it helps you where you don't know how. Lack of knowledge, my children perish, right? So I believe it's because of all that type of stuff that I've been doing is why I got my money. <laughs> Yay! Why I got my money today, guys, and I'm very happy about that. And um, and I'm just saying that, yes, there's a lot of good people still out there. I'm a good individual. I would have gave it back, you know? And um, I'm glad that there was somebody that was thinking like me, and I got it, I got it, you know, the love sent back to me. So, hey, that's what's up, guys. So that's all. I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick because I just thought it was extraordinary. It was amazing that, you know, that happened twice in one day and twice I got my cheese bag. What's up with that? <laughs> so um, outside of that, guys, I feel good. I feel good helping folks. I feel good doing this little, my little Reiki sessions that I'm getting ready to do, and then I feel good helping people with their questions and answers. You know what I'm saying? What you can't get the answer to. You know, your boy got some skills over here, so you know, been helping people. I just like to help. I like to be of service. Because when I'm helping you get better, God is always rewarding me, the source, universe, whatever you call it. Whatever label you put on your higher power is always helping me because I'm always helping someone overcome, get better, motivate, uplift, encourage something, something to raise their vibration, to raise their frequency, to raise their energy. I'm always working in that area one way or another with someone because most people are broken. Most people are wearing that mask. <laughs> most people frown more than they smile so yes they need help most people are intimidated by me can you imagine being intimidated by me I'm like the most smiling most happiest most energetic uplifting motivational guy you probably know but that's probably what makes you a little nervous right because you're like I know that's real <laughs> I know that's real. <laughs> that doesn't come with no surprises. I know that's real right there, right? And when you're not used to real, and then you, you get nervous. 
because you've been used to fake. And then the real pops up, bop, bop. And I'm just like, hey, what's up? Because everybody knows how I talk, right? I'm like, hey, what's up? How you getting nervous on that? <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, and I send love and light to everyone. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're nervous, not nervous, it's all good. I'm good people. <laughs> Having me on the team is always a benefit. <laughs> I never come empty handed. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, you guys are all amazing. And um, know your worth, know your value, know that, um, know that if, 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 if you're not feeling good, know if you are, are, are in a low vibration, know if you're um, feeling you know, down in the slump, know if you're not, um, if you're feeling depressed, know that it's gonna be due to your thinking. And you don't have to think that it'll never go away because if you think it'll never go away, whatever you think, that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna happen. So all I'm just trying to say is that there's always hope. You always have hope. It's like, it's like your mind is like, your frequencies is like the radio station. Right now you can be in a good mood, right? Good mood, hey, what's up? You're in a high vibing frequency, right? And then somebody comes over, knock, knock, da, 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 da. hey, guess what happened? And they tell you some crazy like, just crazy story, right? And you just went from high vibing and having fun to like, oh my gosh, are you serious? And now, boom, just like that, instantly. Just like when I'm using my pendulum and I snap my fingers and it stops one direction and starts moving a different direction, that's you. You're just like the pendulum, all of us. When we allow outside circumstances to dictate how we swing, like the pendulum, it's gonna swing according to your energy you're putting out. So, you know? <laughs> really? What just happened there? <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, that's it on that. I just lost my train of thought. I was thinking about something else, but whatever. I know you guys know what I'm saying. You get the gist of it. This doesn't have to go 30 minutes, 40 minutes tonight, right? Because you guys got the gist of it. You got the story of the money being lost and being recovered. You got my little oracle telling me how um, God just has me covered. Even on the things that I don't see, he's saying I see them. And because I'm pleased with you, and then I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I got your back. Start doing some karmic stuff, and then you're going to have some bad karma to pay and it won't be good things coming back but it'll be negatives coming back only because that's what you put out so i have to be a gentleman and give you what you put out back to you so if you're putting love and kindness i have to be a gentleman and give you love and kindness back if you're putting out ratchet stuff and everything else low vibrational and then i have to be a gentleman and give you only what you are giving to others you got to eat off the same plate you're serving up to others folks what <laughs> So anyway, guys, on that note, I'm tricking. You guys are amazing. I'm going to give you my seven chakra salute. Bam, boom. Because you guys are all wonderful, exceptional, extraordinary, beautiful on the inside and out. All of you are. And I can say that. I can say that and mean it. Because I mean it. I'm not just giving lip service. Because once again, karma, right? So if I'm putting out something fake, fake is gonna come back, right? I don't do fake. <laughs> that energy and I just don't operate well. <laughs> so anyway, guys, on that note, um, this was my story. This is what happened today. And uh, I hope you guys take something from it, right? And you're able to, uh, I don't know, just take something from it. And if you were thinking people are all negative, You'll, you'll know that, no, it's not like that. I mean, I lost my wallet twice. There was plenty of opportunity for it to come up missing. And it was restored twice. Cash. 
So, that being said, guys, you guys are all you guys are all wonderful and amazing. I'm Trickett, and I'm about to get out of here and um, get these Reiki sessions going. People are expecting me to show up in the spirit tonight. Got to do what I got to do. <laughs> Take care, guys. Peace. <laughs>